Hello. I'm gonna start this video by saying sorry for how I sound right now. My throat is extremely sore and my nose is a bit stuffed up, but this is something that needs to be discussed and I need to fix this. When Google took over YouTube in around 2006, we all had a feeling it was going to go downhill, but I don't think any of us expected it to be this bad. The other day I was on YouTube and I saw a video from one of the most popular YouTube channels, BuzzFeed, about transgender people. Uh, my initial reaction, of course, was happiness. It's good to spread around the word and I was very glad that BuzzFeed was trying to raise awareness for our condition. Then I scrolled down to the comments and that's where the happiness was completely blown away when I came and saw all the transphobic people in the comment section. Now YouTube is not one to go without hate. It's kind of a familiar thing by now. Um, a couple of years back, back when I had my old YouTube profile, I remember I was supporting um, homosexuals. This one guy was extremely homophobic and I dared to stand up to him, which was probably a mistake, but <laughs> You know me, I love to try to make things right in the world, and I really couldn't pass up the opportunity to give him some education. Unfortunately, it went wrong, and he decided to tell me to kill myself. He said he wanted to hunt me down and do it for me if he could, so I blocked him. You know, I thought that would be the end of that, but he had several other profiles, and he started coming to harass me with those. So I decided that it would probably be a good idea at this point to report him to YouTube considering the fact he was violating several of the community guidelines and the terms of services. I got an email back from YouTube and it said this. Now, I really don't know why they think that they can ignore their own guidelines. Because of them ignoring my abuse report, I had to wait until they got bored and continue blocking them until they went off to find another victim. And that hurts me the most because I don't want them to find another victim. I am a particularly strong person. I can take a lot of hate, but not everybody can. The problem with the YouTube comments in that one video about transgender people is that transgender people have the highest suicide rate out of any other group. That kind of abuse that we get from complete strangers contributes to that. And I don't want to see more Leelas and Xanders. I don't want to see that. I want to see people being able to live their lives out happy. And it's just not gonna work if nobody's out there defending us. I reported several of the comments on that video. There were ones that said you should chug bleach. There were ones suggesting a tranny holocaust. That is extremely wrong and that is so against the policy. I reported so many hateful comments I of course did not report the ones that were people being kind of respectful in their opinions. I mean, it's never respectful to be like, oh, I'm not going to use your pronouns or whatever. At least they weren't telling us to kill ourselves. At least they weren't saying that like we should all die or something. That's, that's hate speech. Voicing your opinions, even if it's a terrible, hurtful opinion, is not hate speech. But the ones that I did report that were 100% hate speech, they all came back as negative reports from YouTube. And this tells me that they literally do not look at the reports. Even the, the fact that they came back after, I guess, four hours convinces me that there was no investigation or anything. Like, they did not even look at my reports. And it's not really just YouTube that's guilty for this. Facebook is really bad for that. Facebook goes on a mass reporting system, so if a lot of people report the same comment or the same person, it gets removed without investigation, which is why a lot of transgender people get their profiles removed for being a fake name, because a whole bunch of transphobic people will go to their page and mass report them. And then with 
um, hate speech and stuff and harassment, if you're the only one being harassed, it's not going to be removed because you're the only one reporting it. Tumblr is also a site that's part of the problem. I've reported um, people who admitted to abusing their girlfriend and who were going on abuse recovery places and saying, oh, I abuse my girlfriend all the time, it feels fucking great, you know, that kind of stuff. I've reported people like that. I've reported people who say all transgender men should die, all cisgender men should die. It's just a normal thing on Tumblr nowadays. They don't even pay attention to it. As long as it's not like a black person or a transgender woman who's being harassed, nothing's done about it. And it's it's wrong. It's really wrong. If you have those community guidelines and you have those terms of services, it is your job to police those and to not ignore violations of those things because that just tells me that those are just in place so you can avoid lawsuits. So I'm asking you guys now, um, I don't think it's too much to ask for. Please go to the petition down below and sign it. Like, it'll just take a minute of your time. We need to show YouTube that we are not standing for this anymore. If they don't smarten up, we have to go somewhere else because we can't keep giving our business to someone whose only concern is making money. They're not concerned about the people. They're not concerned about our health. That is not right. They do not deserve us. So please sign below, show them that we're not going to stand for this anymore, and have a nice day.